when we decided to visit Australia, I never thought this country would surprise me to this extent. Welcome back guys. So today I will be taking you to yet another picturesque destination. Our Australian trip was thankfully not a guided tour and so we made our routes and plans. That way we could choose where to stop and when to stop. One such stopover were these two spots, a beach called the Oxley Beach and the Tacking Point Lighthouse. They are located in Port Macquarie in north of Sydney, New South Wales. That is a beautiful coastal destination. Oxley Beach, I swear, was such a visual treat. It's just 10 minutes away from the lighthouse. There were a lot of dandelions out there and I, I, I always wanted to do this and I did try blowing it off. Did you know the legend um, has it that if you can blow all the seeds off a dandelion with a single breath, then the person you love will love you back? I don't know if you've heard that, but yeah, if the seeds remain, then the object of your affection may have reservations about their feelings towards you. That's what they believe. Still, few others also believe that dandelions may help you tell the time or even the weather. The boardwalks and the seaside views were breathtaking from this beach. The Oxley Beach was just a stopover on our way to the, uh, the lighthouse. 
So the Stacking Point Lighthouse is Australia's 13th oldest lighthouse and it sits atop a rocky headland which offers a stunning panoramic views along Australia's mid-north coast. I'm sure you all know that a lighthouse to us is always a tall structure but due to the elevation of the rocky headland, the Tacking Point Lighthouse is only 8 meters high. This place has such a great view, the ocean, the lighthouse and the beach. The wind whips through your hair and the sun warms your skin. It was built on a rocky headland about 8 kilometers south of Port Macquarie in 1879. The tower is, as you see, is in white in cylindrical shape of course with a lantern and attached storeroom and with a blue balcony rail. It, it looks nice and cute. <laughs> This lighthouse is still in operation. It is managed by the Australian Maritime Safety Authority, whose work protects ships from the treacherous coastline, of course. Yeah. The lighthouse was built of cement rendered bricks and only needed to be 8 meters high, as I told you earlier, because of the elevation of the site. In 1919, the light was converted from wick oil light to automatic acetylene operation and it was demanned in 1920. The light was converted to mains electricity in 1974. So Tacking Point was actually named by an explorer called Matthew Flinders in 1802 during his navigation of Australia. A 9 km coastal walk begins at the lighthouse. Aren't these a beautiful stopover spot? I hope you enjoyed viewing all these beautiful sites just as I loved visiting them. When I boarded the flight from Dubai when I wanted to visit Australia, trust me, I just as I mentioned in my title track, I never thought it would be so beautiful. I just loved the way how people live so close to nature in Australia.
I will be soon back with more such experience that I had during my trip. Stay tuned guys.